No, oh, while they're working on getting that link, we'll just keep moving. I thought I'd have a harder time getting back through. The captain should be holed up somewhere in here. Oh, Captain, my captain. Outriders always pay what's owed. That soldier will want to see his head for herself. And let's go drop off ahead. We did a good thing. I am in the Outriders Discord, yes. Shira, I'm looking at the epicenter of the explosion. This is where the collapse started. I occasionally look that through there for information, but there's just so much going on there. Yeah, the classes as roles. I haven't noticed. I didn't look that deep into it. Open World Games was the YouTuber's name. Okay. See if we can find it.
What was the name of the video? Most important question. All right. So I've got some more Outriders news for you all today. Let's get into it. We're going to be talking about a brand new update that just went live. What does it include? Let's talk about that. Plus, I mean, we're going to be talking about how Outriders it. won't have PS4 and Xbox one issues like cyberpunk 2077 did developers say so we're gonna die i mean we already know that because they've released the demo out the trophies have been released for outriders giving some really cool indications as to what so are these just the same thing that we already have in game I mean, there are some like secret accolades that we might be able to see. Get some information, but he goes over all of them. Uh, which tab is it? Yeah, this one. To expect from this game, we're gonna be like diving Steve, into this Steam achievements, here. Xbox, in just MPS, a moment. Plus, trophies. as promised another in-depth look at the fire witch nuke based pyromancer build from the community manager of people world games here hope you're doing good free demo it's incredible to me how many platforms crash fixes playstation and that has been mentioned this right here in particular highlighting the pitfalls that crossed in optimized uh kamata and lead game designer vitor nowowski when asked about the cyberpunk situation and about whether outriders development faced similar issues the developer said that they had to contend with their own set of problems during development, Outriders isn't in the same situation and runs fine on consoles. They say this, I don't the game as it plays on consoles. Which we know because really, they released the demo uh, good to know. on Hopefully all consoles. Out, uh, there might be some minor spoilers in here. I'm not too sure. So you have been warned right now. That Why is this could, on 480? Jesus. Some sort of spoilers. Here we here, go. But I'm going to go over it. I read over them, and honestly, I got even more excited about this game. So let's dive in here and see what we can find out about Outriders. So first of all, uh, we have here we go. Vanguard of Humanity, where you can obtain all trophies, of course. Awoken to a Nightmare, Awake the New Dark Era of Anox History. Uh, okay. In Road a Hero, this is going to be killing Goss at Solar Tower, of course. Wavelengths and Wishes uncover the direction of the signal source. Now, this is really cool. One way to ride, it's going to say, prepare your truck to enter the forest. I cannot wait uh, to see the actual trucks and to be able to customize, you know, your own big rig. That's going to be awesome. Uh, now, also, it says, Malpractice putting into Skurlock. Uh, breaking the seal goes on to say, open the gate leading out to the forest. So you're going to have to do something to actually unlock this forest region in the game. So that's okay. pretty nifty. Uh, now also says, fatherhood ain't e easy, boss. Defeat Yaga Yagak in Yotorkak. Yotorkak, I think it is. <laughs> uh, descent to, this might be a boss. I'm assuming this is going to be some sort of other boss. Very good assumption. Uh, descent to Fury says, unravel the Feral's origin. Ooh, that sounds like a really cool plot line, honestly. It says, uh, right here, one last chance. Bring down the drop pods. Interesting. Patron of the Past says, complete the Historian quest line. Hand of Death says, complete mm -hmm. the Wanted quest line. Big Game Hunter is going to be up the Hunter quest So these are probably a lot of the, the secret accolades that we don't know about. As well, these are going to be about side quests right here. You can complete up to 25 side quests and get a trophy. And then square tasking requires you to complete all side quests, which yeah, remember this game is going to have 
a bunch of side activities in it as well. So that's really noteworthy as well. Now, let's But it'd be interesting if you could only choose one per playthrough. Well. Where um, so it, it would it force you to do, choose a different on a different uh, how character. You're going to want to kill 3,500 enemies to unlock overtime at the more. We've got grave diggers, best friend forever. I mean, we've already done the 10,000 one. 500 enemies, my god. Snap of the finger says deal a total of 1 million damage. We've already done o 10 million says, over 10 million. Company kill 10 enemies with no more than two seconds between each kill. My I think we've already god. did that. So you might be able to group together some enemies, I would imagine. Coup de grace, coup de grace, whatever. Method. We've oh, done that. Sure. Now, let's Clash of the Altered, going. we've done. Uh, they go on to talk about elites as well. Cup of Grace says, kill an enemy if afflicted with at least four different status effects. We've done that. Fire a squad. Clash of the Altered says, kill five elites using the skills Did only. That. Hitting with jackpot says, kill 1,000 enemies on expeditions ace in the whole use of skill enhanced by four different mods Ooh, nice uh so you could really push your skills to the limit as you can see here it says this i think we did that yeah enemies with any did melee with skill fortune favors the bold reach character level 10 of course you have character level 30 uh as well so uh yeah i think that's the maximum if i recall ordinaries a gathering storm says unlock a class tree node Surpassing the temp, it says mastery branch of the class tree for any. So get class. into so the uh, end of your skill tree. You to specialize in a way uh, in your class. If that's something you want to do, you could do jack of all trades, but I think I'm going to specialize. I'm really going to look into that. Uh, hard bargainer selling items. We've right done. Here, dismantling 300 We've done. items. So you have that. True potential. Use crafting to improve the rarity of 15 items. Now, they go on to say, you know, we have not seen crafting, of course. Uh, in the demo, but I guess it's going to be one of the most important features in this game, and it's going to put the game over the top with how you can actually upgrade your existing loot and mm -hmm, gear. Mm -hmm. So you can keep. So yeah, technically the rifle you can on keep his back one there. of the weapons that you have from the beginning of the game straight up until the end of the game, if you really, really want to do that. Uh, now, what about this one? It says extreme engineering use crafting to replace ten item mods. Invent Inventors Almanac says unlock 125 unique weapons and armor mods for crafting mm -hmm. spoils of war. Goes on to say equip a legendary item. That's pretty simple. Or is it? No, it should be. Pretty hopefully simple. you get some sort of legendary fa fairly quickly. I'm hoping like within the first six, five, six hours of the game. Because that's what happened with me <laughs> with the demo. That's how long it took me to get my first legendary. Let me know about you guys. Because I've been hearing like people takes 30 hours so i'm curious uh now we had someone who took Nox, over 100 character with uh, epic or legendary items mine or from a deposit of 30 times mm -hmm. knowledge mm -hmm. is power fill in 150 journals and then you have 300 journal pages that you can fill in as well and then classy says complete the highest tier of four class related accolades for any class those accolades are going to be super important for those rewards outriders as first class Complete all class-related accolades, and then reach accolade level 10, and then also, been everywhere, done it all, reach accolade level 20. So you can see level 20 is considered where you are really getting deep in the game. I mean, but yeah, some really cool stuff. We already know some you can go beyond 20, though. For me, um, I don't know if it's considered simple or not, but getting yeah. the truck, going into the forest, unlocking new areas, for me, that's going to be super. Yeah. Not a whole lot of new stuff learned from that. But that being said, I mean, we already know quite a bit already so <clears throat> I've learned the names of some bosses so there's that there's the other marksman I only saw one oh well
morning, Dave. I'm doing all right. How are you doing? Almost 10 a.m. over in the UK. We've gotten the iceberg, the one we have right here. It's the only one we've gotten today so far. UK's five hours ahead of me, so it should be almost 10 a.m. It's almost 5 a.m. here, and you're five hours ahead of me. What the hell? No, I'm going off, off my system clock. I'm uh, Eastern U.S. We moved to British summer, so it'll be plus one hours then. Ah, so you guys do daylight savings at a different time than we do? That is dumb. Do away with the daylight savings. Do away with it. I never knew that. Yeah, they change twice a year in the US as well, but apparently uh, you guys do them at a different time than us. which is incredibly dumb for people to have different schedules for that. Attention. We'll get to that alert in a second. One more. Votable, votable, Raptor. Audible, votable. Thank you for the follow. Five hours in it and you haven't gotten one legendary. I hate to say it, but it's probably going to take you even more. We've had people in chat say that it took them a hundred hours to get one. RNG is a fickle bitch. We invented it, I believe, during one of the world wars due to farming. Yeah. Farming is the excuse, but yeah. I think it's an outdated system that is no longer needed. doesn't do like daylight savings so yeah i mean people just decide oh we're not gonna do this when other people do but they do it at different times of the year it's just do away with it already
Definitely okay with never seeing daylight saving savings ever again. Yep, I have tried all the classes. I play a different one every night, so just to keep it somewhat fresh. Devastator is by far my favorite. Trickster behind that, then Pyro, then Techno. From Saskatchewan, our biggest thing is farming, and you did away with Daylight Savings, so what does that tell you? What's your favorite so far votable? I'm just gonna call you Raptor. Hope that's okay. I am so ready to dump 24 hours straight into this game. I would like to, but I'm unfortunately unable to do it like a 24 hour stream or something like that when the game comes out. Hot. This is a game launch I would actually consider doing a 24 hour for if I could. I always say just get up earlier or later, depending on the sun. Exactly. Digging the trickster, but I can't wait to see what Pyro. Pyro best Pyro is in game. Pyro is going to be really shine in mid to late game, I, I feel. In the demo, it's one of the more difficult classes to play well, but it's fun. Setting things on fire and blowing them up, that's fun. Techno trick dev paro. Yep. It's the same as you, but maybe Twitch Devastator and Trickster. That's what I love. There is it there's something for everyone. But they're all enjoyable to the point where people sometimes have a hard time ranking which one's their favorites. But there you not move. Making me go up there to you. Oof. friend said he dozed off while captain farming and woke up another player was in this game just emoting him <laughs> oh that's good luckily i haven't fallen asleep playing the game yet Yet. How beast Pyro is. Gotcha, gotcha. Ooh, we missed. Gotcha that time. Kill the uh, marksman there in the behind the wall, and God, I already killed him. Kill me! Stop trying to shoot me and shoot me.
Whoops. Whoops. When you fat finger the wrong button. be able to switch characters for group play especially if statuses don't stack yeah I think he means the statuses, the like same statuses from the same class abilities. Legendary incoming? Nah. Nah, we've already burned all our luck for the day. they do or not either you know, I would hope they stack legendaries in eight hours of gameplay yep rng is the bitch well, i killed something just not what i was shooting at when potato aim pays off have one of each type of status as I think the dev said would have to check yep you burned all your luck for the week try again at release grim arrows i know you got like six, at least six of them
five Grim Marrow, four Voodoo, four Hember Vault, and two R R R Rods. Definitely like the pump shotties. I'm hoping to get the golem limb on my devastator when we play it. it now oh I know We're so close to release though. It doesn't matter what character you get it on. Just use the SAS to transfer. Breachers that time, or do you come out late? Fun, fun just popping him as you run in. I like it.
got two of them. I think I've total. I think I've gotten at least four migraines. How am I getting getting shards? Well, if you see you see me running up to these greens, I'm holding spacebar to break them down before I die. Because I don't have gr greens to be picked up on my. Let's see. I don't have greens listed on my loot threshold. So they'll never be picked up. So it's just an extra way to grab some extra shards before they kill me. Try to play Warzone solos, you'll have more than two pirates. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be a hard pass for me. glad they put the demo out gave us all a chance to try out the game and gave developers a chance to fix a lot of bugs that would have otherwise been in full launch and couldn't couldn't have potentially turned a lot of people away from the game that could have yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i'm excited to see what the day one patch is gonna fix we get some extensive fixes and tweaks and optimization at the optimization they patch they did on the week week one patch was huge gave us a lot of a lot better optimization switch weapons Still waiting for the time when I pop him in the head like that and we see a legendary pop out of him.
Uh, yeah, yeah, I got it from this captain. Whoops. Update yesterday seems to have made the dot in the middle of the screen brighter. Yeah, I think you're right. A little bit more noticeable. It's a little bit brighter gray. Just wanted to break down some greens. Well, dropped a blue from that one. And a green. Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman movie is kind of whack. That's what I've heard. I haven't watched the 1984 one. First one I liked. I want to watch the Snyder cut of Justice League, but I'm not willing to give uh, HBO my money for it. Not just for that. <laughs> So what was messed up about the new Wonder Woman movie? Not even halfway through it yet. Just already don't like. Mm. It's not a good sign.
I started watching the expanse finally <laughs> you're forcing just force feeding yourself wonder woman wait I think a lot of people agree with you on that one. <laughs> oh, you Gal Gadot, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, just the movie is it? I got you, I got you. check and see where we're at on our inventory space double blues I've never owned a PNY graphics card actually that's not true like but it's been like 20 years since I've owned a PNY graphics card so I can't can't really speak on their uh, reliability. But in the amount of time it took you to type that out, it's probably already gone. 1800? No. Fuck no. Fuck no. No. Oh, you said 3090. 3090. 3090. I mean, maybe. Maybe. I'm sorry.
Yep, yeah, I want a 3080. Not bad enough to pay scalper prices. What do you mean how much went into the making of Outriders? What do you mean? I mean, that's a solid computer. Honestly, the only thing that really worries me there. Oh, please. Thank you for the follow. The only thing that really worries me worries me there is the power supply. I would want a more powerful power supply because the 3000 series and even more so for the 3090s is going to draw a lot of power and 750 might be a problem. Other than that, yeah, that's a that's a good computer. I mean, depends on what they're going to be using it for. Uh, ferocious. I mean, legendaries, I am up to, I think, 20 now. There's only one that I'm missing, though, and that's the golem leg. Yeah, for a regular gamer, a 3090 is overkill. But for content creators, uh, artists, three people who do 3D rendering, definitely worth it. I'm guessing the C1000 means it's a thousand watt power supply. I mean, it's, it'll definitely cover it. Cover what you need. From what I've heard, people are recommending at least an 850 power supply with the 3000 series. You think swapping characters helps the RNG? I don't. I think it's just coincidence. RNG is just that random. Cut them in half. All right, kill me now. All right, let me let me look it up. I'm assuming that's a ZXTC one thousand. Oh. Uh, 
that's not listed on their website. Okay. Apparently, the C-1000 is a PSU that's only possible with uh, build services. It's not av available individual, so you're not going to see it in a custom build like, hey, I'm buying all these parts and I'm going to put it together at home. But apparently, you can only get it in a pre-built system. That's, all, I, that's why I can't find it anywhere. Because you can't buy one outside of a pre-built system. That's funny. Didn't get a legendary and a shit ton of runs and then got back to back mad RNG. Yep. It's the way it is sometimes. I, I've had dry spells where I went five days without a legendary, and then I get three or four in a night. It's random luck is random. Standing on your head while playing helps RNG. Oh, that explains the dry spells. Fuck. Oh, 